We finish up our tour of Fim Country this week, the Frankfurt Illion Mohawk area. We meet with historian Sue Perkins to learn about the early days of Mohawk. Okay, Mohawk was first established as a village in 1844. It incorporated. Before that, it was known as Bennett's Corners. It was named after an early postmaster. And of course, back to the 1720s, the German Palatines were here. And they settled along the Mohawk River and were able to buy 100 acres of land. And so from that, it grew. Then the beginning of the um, Erie Canal, the section from Utica to Little Falls was completed about 1817 uh, or 19. By 1925, the entire length of the Erie Canal was open and the village really took off in growth by that time. So it was decided in 1844 that they should name the village Mohawk and it grew from there. Early industries, you had knitting mills, you had dual fold, of course, you have quick cut that's still there today. Uh, you had the Paragon knitting mill. Um, of course, if you get into famous people, we had Francis Elias Spinner, former treasurer of the United States, lived in Mohawk. His home is still there today. Enjoy strolling through the village and meeting some of the locals. With Sue Perkins' new book as a guide, we visit some of the village's historic buildings, like Grace Episcopal Church on East Main Street, built in the 1880s. Right next door to the church is Treasure Chest Antiques, a fun walk down memory lane. We know that a lot of you enjoy breakfast watching the show. How many of you remember collecting box tops to get a bowl like this? This is a Hopalong Cassidy. Of course, if you remember these, then that sort of makes you an antique as well, like me. It goes back to the 1940s. When you come to Mohawk, don't speed through because about, oh, a half a block from the Mohawk Station is a house that was built in 1841. And it is an unusual house because it was the first one in all of North America to have a concrete sewer system. More interesting than that, though, is the fact that the builder of this house was a very progressive individual. It was F. Spinner, and he was appointed United States Treasurer by President Abraham Lincoln and he was the first man to appoint a woman to a government job when he was treasurer. Her name was Ginny Douglas. To see what we can see. Just like in the 1800s, Mohawk has a downtown village market. This village market is from the 1960s and still has that 60s feel. I grab my umbrella and try to brave the rain. As we leave the grocery store, we hear singing coming from the barbershop across the street. It's John Seymour, the singing barber. He shows off one of his antique barber chairs, reupholstered by nearby Mohawk Valley Refinishing in Illion. Here's a barbershop song. <laughs> Let's see. Down by the river, there's a We do everything here. Absolutely. Can you, right. can you sing the Mohawk Valley wow. song? Mohawk Valley All song. along the Mohawk Valley. <laughs> you do. You knew it a second ago. The eight, Whitney's two. around there a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's them. That's us. Awesome. That's you guys. Yeah. They're the powerhouses. No kidding. Yeah. You too? Yeah. Yeah. Are you the one that does all the announcing? Yeah. You do a good job. Thank you. You guys do a really good job. Yeah, I'm not just saying. Enjoy it. I always enjoy it. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley. 
Behind me is the historic armory here in Mohawk. It was here the training took place for World War I. Now it's the YMCA, and I think I'll go in there in a couple of minutes and try my hand at, uh, at basketball. I talk to you, but you don't listen. I reach out to you, but you don't care. Traveling through the various villages as we have, we've always found a library as the centerpiece of the village. That's true here in Mohawk as well. This one is called the Weller Library because it was donated by the Weller family. And when you come here, take the time to uh, check everything out from ceiling to floor because you'll find some artwork on the ceilings that are really quite impressive. And then in what I imagine was the dining room perhaps, there's a parquet floor like none I've seen anywhere in our travels thus far. I ran into 